Welcome to St. Paul TV, a production of the Media and Technology Ministry of St. Paul AME Church. The vision of our ministry is to build upon the whole person by providing theologically sound biblical teaching, effective worship, commitment to family, and an emphasis on understanding personal purpose. Our church school begins at 9.30 on Sunday morning. Worship service begins at 10.45. We have Bible study every Wednesday at 6 o'clock p.m. Thanks for stopping by and enjoy a word from God. Thank you. 
So I asked God to give us something, and, and we rode around. We looked and looked, and that's where it came. The last thing that I want to do is get in the pulpit and don't be obedient to God. So I'm going to stay right in the gospel. You heard the scripture. And if you just had to write something down to remind yourself, think about overcoming situations. Overcoming situations. Blessed are ye when men shall hate you. And when they shall separate you from their company and reproach you and cast out your name as evil for the son of man said. Huh, let's, let's work with this. Let's work with it. Be patient with me this morning. Let's see what Luke is trying to say is when folk just don't speak to you. They roll their eyes at you. They, they just be in all kind of ways in your presence, you know, just not even respecting you. Then flip the script. See, what they're doing is trying to make it look like it's you, the bad guy. Being that you are a child of the Most High. See, evil is always seeking for whom it may devour. Always seeking. As we look in verse 23, it reads, Rejoice in ye that day, and leap for joy. Behold, your reward manner did their fathers unto the process. Let's look at this. Now Luke tells us in this verse, rejoice in that day and leap for joy. For behold, your reward is in heaven. Right. See, 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 nothing here on earth is really that important. No matter what people say about you or what how they act towards you, you just continue to keep your eye on Jesus. Keeping your eyes on Jesus. Ah, oh, I like verse 24. Watch this. But who unto you that are rich, for ye have received your consolation. Meaning comfort. That would consolation means comfort. Meaning comfort. See, a person with a lot of money sometimes get off track with God. See, 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 and other words get caught up. Church, don't get caught up in situation. Situation, situation. Can I get an amen? amen. Watch this. Jesus was talking to a rich man about money. Let's look at Matthew for a minute. Let's look at Matthew for a minute. Matthew 19, verses 23 through 24. It says, Blessed are the poor in spirit. Theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are the mourn that they shall be confronted. Comfort. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. See, your money won't help you when it's time dealing with the kingdom of God. Woe unto you that are full, for ye shall hunger. Woe unto you that laugh now, for ye shall mourn and weep. See, in this verse, Luke is putting down the rules of the kingdom life. Do these things, and you can make it to the kingdom. All right. In this scripture, he that is full, you're full of nothing. You get full, you're full of nothing, for you will hunger. And to you that laughs 
Now you will laugh, you will cry later. See, here's some more situations. See, we go around boasting about what we got, treating people all kinds of ways. Watch this. You will cry later. Because right. what goes around church, it comes around. Be careful of different situations. Uh -huh. right. I say, woe unto you when all men shall speak well of you. Uh -huh. For so did their fathers to the false prophet. Mm -hmm. See, usually when something don't sound right or look right, Brother Friend, the 9 out of 10, it ain't right. All right. I'm not going to stay there long. It's going to make sense in a minute. Okay. But when I look at 27, Luke said, But I say unto you, which here love your enemies, uh -huh. do good to them which hate you. That's right. Oh, boy, we're getting in a good situation now. Now, this is a situation a lot of my old members had problems with this. I ain't talking about y'all now. I'm talking about my members in a church up north somewhere. The one out of town. See, at my old church, when folk crushing, talk behind your back, roll their eyes, you know what I mean. All right. But I know we don't have those situations <laughs> St. Paul, and we cut. Can I get an amen? Okay. But in the event that this particular situation may occur, Luke 28 tells us, bless those who spitefully use you. See, if you be obedient to God's words, you will overcome situations in your life. And can I get an amen? amen. Love, 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 love. Someone do it from your heart. That's 
Well, do it from your heart. Amen. Can I get amen? amen? For even sinners lend to sinners to receive as much back. Situations, situations. They are going to come, but hold on. Church in verse 35, Luke said, love your enemies. Uh -huh. Do good and lend, hoping for nothing in return. That's right. Amen. And your reward will be great. And you will uh -huh. look at your neighbor and say, you will be son of the Most High. Can I get an amen? Amen. We should have told this thing in. Now, this made any sense to anybody this morning. Situations. We all are going to have situations yeah. in our lives. We got to be able to overcome these situations. Right. As Christians, we got to stand, we got to walk, and we got to be prepared when these things come and love folk in the house. Amen. For he kind to the unfaithful and evil. Mm -hmm. Therefore, be merciful just as the Father also is mercy. Right. Be nice, church. Be forgiving. Be kind. The same way Jesus has been to you. Yes. Judge not, and you shall not be judged. Condemn not, and you shall not be condemned. Forgive, and you will be forgiven. Amen. Church, you can overcome situations in your life. Amen. 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 Well, we pray that you were blessed by our ministry at St. Paul TV. St. Paul TV is a production of the Media and Technology Ministry of St. Paul AME Church, 85 Martin Luther King Avenue, St. Augustine, Florida. And if you were blessed, I want you to go and make a difference in this world. Make God proud of you. If you have a church home, go and make a difference in your church. If you're in need of a church home, a place to where you can be nourished and fed, ask that you strongly consider making St. Paul AME Church your church home. Promise you, you won't be disappointed. Now, if you believe in reaping and sowing, we invite you to be financial partners with St. Paul AME Church. This is good ground. And if you'd like to sow into this ministry, please visit our website. SaintPaulFamily.com, and click on the Make a Contribution list. Remember, no matter where you have been, where you are, or where you're going, there is a place for you at St. Paul AME Church.